Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my iPhone, iPad, Android app called Golf. Let's give this guy some help. He's hitting across it a little bit. Let's see if we can get him hitting some straighter shots, understanding how to control his club path, maybe face a little bit more as well. Let's get stuck in. Right, I like this swing because I see this a lot. He's swinging what we'd call quite flat, people would call, so around his body on the way back. People always think that an upright swing hits a fade and a rounded swing hits a draw. So we see him go round, then he gets maybe slightly steeper on the way down, spins his hip quite a lot through impact, maybe weight on his back foot can't quite see, hitting across the ball with a face that looks open to a path and we see a bit of a loss off to the right, I would imagine, with most shots. So I can swing around my body and hit out to in so I can hit from this side to this side with it flat that's vertical swing plane and I can swing up here and still hit from the inside again that's vertical swing plane I've done this before that's different to well I don't even like the word swing plane to be honest I think people get so confused flat swing doesn't mean you can hit from the inside and upright swing doesn't mean you can hit from the outside it just doesn't mean that um, so look for me I would like to see you, a simple thought to try to start you off. I do this a lot with golfers and it really, really helps them. I want you to make your normal backswing, which is flat, round your body, not a problem. But then on the downswing, I want you to feel that you move. So I've got a Mizuno pad on my glove here. I want you to feel on the downswing that you turn that Mizuno pad back round to the camera here. So as you pull down, simultaneously, you rotate the shaft, rotate your left wrist, and in turn your right wrist to face this pad towards that target. That will change the orientation of the club face, which for nine times out of 10 for people gets their face delivering more straight to a path to close to a path. Now, let's pretend you do a swing where you rotate that wrist to face this back to you and you then swing left, say 10 degrees. Well, this movement squares the face up to a path. The path is 10 left. Why would you square a path up to a, a face up to a path which is 10 left? The ball will just bullet 50, 60 yards left. So what people tend to do if you give them enough goes at it, and sometimes they do it straight away when they react to it, is you get them to make this movement, so flattening this wrist, and they naturally start pushing that club path more out towards target, even to the right of it. They react to the face. So if they move that wrist in a way which closes the face to a path, they naturally adjust their path to the right so they can spin the ball back towards target. Because if you're swinging 10 degrees left, is it a conscious decision for you to leave that face, five, six, seven, whatever you're doing, open to that path? I wouldn't say it's conscious. I mean, it is conscious, but I would say it's more of a subconscious decision. It's coordination that's taking over your desire to hit target. So if we move the orientation of the face on the downswing, Often people adapt their club path, not always. Often I can just move path and then their face orientation adapts back as well. So kind of chicken and egg. There's never always a right and a wrong with this. It's how people react. I've done loads of videos talking about how to alter the path of the club, dropping the handle. This one is a bit of a spin to try and do it the other way. Change the orientation of the face. Feel like you're revving the club on the bike, revving it back towards that camera at the back and then hit it. That face will be square or close to a path. If you swing left and the face is square or close to that path, that's going left, turning left. Most coordinated golfers won't hit too many shots that way. If you tell them the rule is they have to move their wrist that way, they'll naturally start moving path to naturally try and find target. Exactly the same what they've done by swinging left, leaving the face open to the path and finding target the other side. Have a go, let me know. I'd love to hear. Post comments down below. Let me know if that works, makes sense or not. I'd love to hear. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching. Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my iPhone, iPad, Android app called Golf. Let's give this guy some help. He's hitting across it a little bit. Let's see if we can get him hitting some straighter shots, understanding how to control his club path, maybe face a little bit more as well. Let's get stuck in.
Right, I like this swing, because I see this a lot. He's swinging what we'd call quite flat, people would call, so around his body on the way back. People always think that an upright swing hits a fade, and a rounded swing hits a draw, so we see him go round. Then he gets maybe slightly steeper on the way down, spins his hip quite a lot through impact, maybe weight on his back foot, can't quite see. Hitting across the ball with a face that looks open to a path and we see a bit of a loss off to the right, I would imagine, with most shots. So I can swing around my body 